Hey, what's up you guys? Sharpness Prime here, doing another video talking about the Marvel Legends first appearance Spider-Man figure. This did sell out rather quickly over at the Hasbro Pulse, but if you're still trying to pick this up, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So this is a photo gallery video i'm just looking at photos of this i just had dropped off uh at the figure over at fedex yesterday and i don't have the figure in hand any longer i was a little embarrassed by some of my images just because you know while looking at some of them online i was like oh these are a little overexposed and then i kind of touched them up and fixed the contrast on them just because I get a little bit of neurotic when it comes to these kinds of things, and it was bugging me, and that just looks better. So I just wanted to show off images over here uh, with, uh, you know, with a little bit more uh, better colors, better just overall. They, I think these images look better. I also want to show off images I, ha I hadn't shown before of the different heads on this body. So I thought it'd be cool to show these images off right over here. I love this head sculpt. The half and half right here just works so perfectly. The eye even looks similar to the first appearance eye. So I love that. That one right there is so sick. Uh, there's a pizza spidey uh, half masked head. So I want to show some new images here instead of just the ones that you'd already seen. And then we have retro card squinty eyes. And then we have the retro card more open eyes on there once again. So I wanted to show those off. And uh, we have a Tom Holland head, which I didn't show off before. But I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. And then I wanted to talk about the web wings a little bit. That's the right way you put them on right there like that. And then you can see how they do look a little bit weird when you move the arms outward. I uh, did try putting them on purposely the wrong way. And then uh, when you move the arms down, it's, it's hard to move them inward. So that's how you know you have them on the wrong way. And then the web wings uh, with the arms fully extended, that's where they look their best with the extended web wings. And then you can see from the back how they're contoured to... For lift so that's how they're supposed to look that that's just what it is but i figured maybe these pictures right here uh would kind of help give you an idea about how those web wing accessories attach to the figure and everything and then there's with the arms down you can see they hide very quickly and then on the back they kind of fold and collapse on top of each other as you move those down so i just want to show those off and then uh go back to some images right over here because i do think it looks a whole lot better um you know with me fixing things up and I gotta say, I really enjoyed the figure a lot. Uh, I think it's a very, very cool figure, and I think it's a dope first appearance Spider-Man figure. Uh, I, I still prefer the overall articulation on the retro card Spider-Man figure. I do think that the figure that Bug Nice 10 reviewed, uh, the Spinneret 2-pack, I think that is going to be the the essential spider-man figure i think that's going to be the very best spider-man figure however uh, if i had to pick one to do a reveal for i definitely am happy i got this one right here because this was just very exciting and um and it, there's new stuff going on here that just really makes me happy and i think for a first appearance spider-man figure i think this is really cool uh, i've heard some people say that he's not skinny enough he's not lanky enough but when i compare him to the other figures i feel like he's definitely smaller than the retro card spider-man figure and there's definitely a downsize in mass but you can still get this figure right here i mean even even though he's a little bit thinner it's still a lot of fun getting him into poses but those web wings get weird man it's just I, a lot of the time i'm like i don't know what to do with the web wings I, I i don't know where to exactly place this so that it looks its best so that just gets very tricky it's just one of those things that you'll have to deal with once you have the figure in hand uh there were times where i found myself just removing the web wings entirely and just having fun posing the figure around just not putting the web wings on there at all whatsoever but yeah i just wanted to show off these images over here that they're touched up not so overexposed and I think they, the color quality on these looks a little bit more accurate. When I was editing these images, and I edited each of these images one by one, uh, I was holding the figure up to the screen just to make sure that I was capturing that color red as close as possible. So um, these are not altered for, you know, in any way to kind of... Uh, deceive you it's just altered so that you get a better idea of how the figure actually looks so that's what i was going for uh by doing this and also i'm still just stoked as hell off the figure it was so 
hard and sad for me to let it go because I'm just really stoked about it and uh, the, the opportunity and everything around it. It's just really, really cool that Hasbro is doing this. And I got a lot of positive feedback on the review. Uh, I was very honest in the review and I think viewers picked up on that. Um, I, 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 think, I think I did a pretty solid job on hitting all the points that need to be talked about, like the teen body stuff and, and getting all the comparisons that needed to be needed to be there uh hasbro was very cool with my video i didn't get any um like i didn't get any recommendations or notes you know to you know really take stuff out um i think th i think there was like a mafex comparison i had a mafex spider-man comparison in there and it makes sense that they wanted to stick to hasbro products since it's a hasbro figure but that was like the only thing you know and Aside from that, they didn't ask me to change anything, take anything negative I said out of the video or anything like that. They didn't like I actually added a clip in last minute that was kind of talking about uh, how I got some chewing on the figure and everything. And uh, they're totally cool with leaving that in the video and stuff. So um, I just want to thank Hasbro for being super cool uh, to work with. And, you know, I, I guess people could imagine that the big corporation would be really rude about it and bully us into saying exactly what they want to hear and all that but that is not the case at all they're very respectful towards me uh they were very kind in the whole process and uh i got to say everything i wanted to say in my video and um it was as honest of a review as i could have possibly made and this, these kinds of opportunities um I, I try to pay not just respect to the people who made the figure and everything, but I'm, I'm, I have a lot of respect for you guys. You know what I mean? I, I do this YouTube thing for a living and I, I want to be respectful to my viewers and, um, it would be a disservice for me to even think about, you know, kind of altering my opinion for the sake of someone else's benefit. So that is, uh, the, that's what it is, man. That like the, that review was my honest opinion on the figure it's it was as honest as could possibly be and uh, i think most people really enjoyed it and i am very very happy about that and i just want to thank everybody who watched the video and everybody that shared the video uh if you didn't watch it go ahead and check it out if you haven't shared it feel free to share it you know i appreciate that that helps me a lot you know so anyway hope you enjoyed this little photo gallery video i will have an unboxing video going up later today and uh, this picture looks wonky because I took it with my phone last minute. <laughs> so sorry about this picture not looking so great. Uh, it's definitely way oversaturated. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, stay tuned for a big, big unboxing video from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, plus a Jurassic World Dominion Hall uh, coming up later today on this YouTube channel. Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.